All right, what's up guys? We're back. And I didn't get a chance to show you guys the whole hearse. It's been a couple months now since we picked it up. That video is up on my channel previous to this one. So I just wanted to give you a walk around and let you know what we're going to do to it because she is not road ready yet. So once again, this is a 1970 Cadillac Superior 3-way. It's basically all original. I got some skeletons in because I haven't been able to, to do much on it. I uh, took the skirt off to work and replace the tire. Um, everything is in pretty much immaculate condition. Um, as you see, we didn't really show you, give you a, a walk around in the actual um, pickup video. We didn't really show you the inside or the outside or anything. Just showed it being picked up. Oklahoma. This is a very straight car. Um, once I purchased it about a week later, I gave it a full wash vacuum cleaned everything cleaned the floor uh this is just an end cap i threw in here here's the fin or the uh the skirt um i didn't want to put it back on yet because i still have to do a lot of other work with suspension and stuff like that but as you see you guys it's like really nice all original plastics for the lights all the lights work we threw a battery in it the other day uh horn works all the electrical seems to work but then again, there's no motor, so we can't do any of that testing yet. And I wasn't going to get in there with the voltmeter. As you see, the top is in really good condition, other than some small end pieces that I can probably get repaired. <clears throat> I am missing one of the Londell bar screws on the other side. This side has all three. I'm missing one on the other side. So let's open it up. Um, all black and gold with this really cool design. It looks really Victorian. Reminds me of the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland. Um, little tear on the seat there. Nothing big. I threw my funeral flags up in there. Um, there's the other hubcap. The little that little piece that is the bottom for the lock broke off the other day, so I just have a top lock for for the door for this door. Let's see if I can I can open it all the way. Just barely misses my truck. But the thing I love about this hearse is, <clears throat> well, one it's a Superior, which is a a company a coach manufacturer that I've always wanted to have. Uh, our last hearse was a Miller Meteor, which is also really cool. But I'm just a fan of the style that Superior puts out. Uh, I like it because it's a three-way, and I just love the slant of the of the the top. The way it slants down, it looks like it's raked kind of, and the way that the windows are like pinched down with the big slant just looks really cool and gives it that real cool hearse creepy style. Um, the dash very basic. Um, the steering wheel, I really don't like. I don't like this steering wheel. It's the same one we had on our 68. But I'm actually going to replace it. I'm probably going to get a lot of slack for it. But I'm probably going to put like a 63 or a 64 Cadillac wheel. I just really like those ones. And, you know, this is my hearse, so I'm going to do what I want with it. Uh, really, the only modification that we're going to do is change the steering wheel. And we're going to add speakers and subwoofers, but we're going to have it all hidden underneath because we don't want to cut nothing. We don't want to we don't want to put anything in the doors. I've seen people put them in the sides. We're not going to do any of that because we don't want to ruin this this car. We're going to keep it as original as I can. Um, let's take a look around. Pretty much all in good condition. Keeping that there for the sun to keep the dash good. There's no cracks in it. This car was purchased in, from an uh, owner in Oklahoma, Oklahoma. 
over 20 years ago and it was purchased by a guy out here in Southern California who shipped it from Oklahoma. Now the guy in Oklahoma bought it from a funeral home in Oklahoma. So it went from a funeral home to a private owner. That private owner in Oklahoma eventually got to the point where he blew a head gasket in this car. When he blew the head gasket, he tried to fix it. He never finished fixing it. So. He never finished um, he never finished fixing the head gasket. So it was left with a bare block. Now, after he eventually gave up, he sold this car to the person that I bought it from in Southern California. The guy I bought it from bought it and parked it in his garage and it sat there until I bought it when you guys saw the video of him pulling it out of that big uh, like warehouse. So it has been sitting for over 20 years and it's finally time to bring this beast back to life, put it back on the road. This car came with the Cadillac 472 big block. And when I first made this video, this is the second time I've done this one, I didn't like the way the first one came out. I mentioned that we need to buy a whole new motor. I'm not going to rebuild this one, it's going to cost too much money and too much time. I'd rather buy another complete motor and work on that. Well, at the time I didn't have one, but just two days ago, I found one on an offer up, went and picked it up. So, let's take a look at that. It's still sitting and lowering my suspension. So here is my new motor. This is a Cadillac 472 as well. This one is actually from a 1972 DeVille. Mine is a 70 DeVille commercial chassis. But it's the same exact motor and same transmission. So we're going to tear this motor apart. <laughs> it's definitely not gonna be dropped in the way it is right now. We're gonna take it apart, have a bunch of pieces sandblasted, repaint it, and add all new accessories as well. Um, you know, it needs new headers, it needs a new carburetor, it needs new um, pumps, uh, fuel pump, water pump, power steering, uh, distributor might be okay, the coil might be okay, but um, yeah, it needs a lot of work, but it's work that I've wanted to do for a long time. Um, I've always wanted to rebuild a motor and I always wanted a hearse so we're busting two birds with one stone here and so we're probably gonna buy like a bolt kit I already ordered the gasket kit and so probably get a new bolt kit because these got a little surface rust this was pulled out of a 72 Cadillac two years ago and it's been garaged ever since the guy said but the way it looks, it doesn't look like it was garaged, but it is a lot cleaner than most of the engines that I've been finding. Um, 472s are not that easy to find compared to like 350s or 454s and stuff like that. Um, they were just, every time I would find one, they would only be maybe two or three hundred dollars, but they would be trashed. So. This was the best one that I found for the price. I picked it up for 500 bucks. Um, the guy also said it was running, which, you know, sure. Everyone who ever, who's ever sold a motor pulled out of a car says running when pulled. This thing, I don't know. It might have been running, but it doesn't look perfect, but it's perfect for what I need. And this beast, uh, we're gonna pull it off my truck today and uh, store it it's gonna have to sit for about another month and then we're gonna be taking it to my friend's house and doing a rebuild and we're gonna get that on film as well 
the whole tear down, the whole cleaning process, the whole rebuild, all the new gaskets, the new pieces we put in. And uh, we're just going to find whatever blocks in the road come up when we get to them because you never know when you get an engine like this, you just got to go through it. Uh, probably going to keep it that original Cadillac blue. Um, maybe add a little of our own flavor and touch to it. But other than that, I'm going to keep it original. And after we're done building this, then we'll pull that out of there, pressure wash and clean, and Linex the engine bay, and then drop that bad boy in. So that's it for now, guys, and we'll see you soon with some more videos. And we'll see you guys next time.